Well, everybody, welcome back to the Midweek Movie Show. I'm Paul Jenkins, and I'm delighted this evening by, to be joined by somebody uh, well, a little bit different. We've spoken to filmmakers on the show. We've spoken to actors. We've spoken to local uh, runners of film nights. But uh, tonight we're talking charity. Uh, and I have the immense pleasure of speaking to Simon Burton, who's the co-founder of the Charity Film Awards. Good, uh, good evening, <laughs> Simon. How are you doing? I'm good, Paul. How are you? Yeah, I slipped up. We're, we're doing a pre-record here because you're a very busy man. You've got a, an actual awards event to, to uh, get to tomorrow, haven't you? Not only that, we have an actual awards event at the Odeon Leicester Square, home of home of UK film premieres. Well, indeed. I mean, the, some of the, uh, the, the events that I've, I've seen outside of that event, the, the big red carpet affairs, um, you are literally at the home of cinema. I mean, I think that gives us some idea about how important uh, the charity film sector has become. I mean, I was, I was astounded with some of these statistics I've been sent about just how many films have been entered into this year's shortlist for consideration. I mean, do you want to tell us about how many films are out there that, that you've considered? <laughs> yeah, well, there are 300 films entered this year from charities of all sorts of shapes and sizes in all sorts of causes in all sorts of corners of the country. Mm. And they get voted for by their supporters. And that list then forms the list of the finalists, of which there are 116. And our judges, who are people from sport and entertainment and charity and politics and media, mm. then pick the winners. And it's those 116 charities who will be attending the event tomorrow, tomorrow so evening. Yeah, it sounds as if it's going to be uh, quite, a, a, I would, as you imagine, quite a glitzy affair uh, if, you're, if you're at the Odeon. Uh, and uh, what, what sort of films are we talking about here? Because we're not talking about, you know, this is, you know, regularly we'll speak on this show about either a big blockbuster movie or we'll talk about, a, you know, a small independent film. But this is a very, a, a film for a very different purpose, isn't it? Well, yes and no, I think. Many of the, the problem when you say charity film is one has this assumption of what a charity film is, mm. and nine times out of ten, that's wrong. Mm. Many of our films tell in brilliant stories. They're funny, they're moving, they're positive, they're uplifting, they're heartwarming mm. and heartrending, and they're made with varying degrees of sophistication uh, in terms of the the kit that's used. But the stories are always very, very profound. Yeah, this is we're not just talking about, you know, those, you know, we're all used to those very short, short films of various different animal charities, you know, asking for a certain amount of pounds a month. We're not talking about that here. We're talking about this much more informative, you know, getting the word of, of the charity in the third sector out there, aren't we? Right, exactly. And doing that, you know, why do you have a show about movies? Because movies are the most powerful storytelling force in the world today. Mm. And in, in a world that's full of terror and horror and evil, Actually, one of the things the Charity Film Awards does is show you that that's not the way you should view the world. The world is full of positivity and uplift and people doing good and people being kind and people struggling to overcome challenges and doing so in a way which is full of kindness and humanity. And just so you get a sense of that piece around the film, so the awards are recognised by both IMDb and BFI. Mm. And BFI take our winning films and put them into their archives of non-fiction films that represent life in Britain every year. Which is an amazing thing, uh, for, partly for the uh, for the charities involved, but certainly as well for the filmmakers that are involved, because, you know, to 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 be at that level and, and be part of that archive, we're talking about being alongside some of the, the greatest films of all time, many of which we've counted down on our, uh, on our top 100 that we've had on the show. Um, what sort of charities are we expecting to see? Uh, what, what, which ones have been shortlisted? I mean, because I know there's a range right from, you know, very small uh, charities that maybe have uh, sort of, you know, uh, three or four people at their helm to, to you know, the, the well-known national charities that we may know about. That's absolutely right. We we segment the categories by turnover. So a small operation that, you know, maybe only turns over 20, 30, 40,000 pounds a year can still enter mm. alongside those household names. And the causes will be very diverse as well. There'll be stuff about the environment. There'll be films about animals. There'll be films about people, about kids, about economic development. There'll be, there'll be films about a local arts club for old people. Um, that, that's beautifully made and they're all profoundly affected that's that power of moving image and spoken word or music to really really grab us in our hearts that, that what the, the awards are all about 
it's uh, saying uh, i mean it's absolutely fantastic and this is uh, the good thing is is that the public have been involved in the in the voting process haven't they um so it means that you know, there's i think it sounds like 300,000 people have voted uh, across the years and been involved in the awards that is correct. Across the five editions of the awards, more than 300,000 people have voted. What's even more impressive is that this year, because we've become part of the Smiley movement, um, and so we've had a bit more marketing muscle behind us, mm. we have driven an extra two and a half million views of the wow. films involved. And, and we count our success, Paul, not in terms of donations, mm. not in terms, of, not in terms of, uh, of, of shares. We count in how many more views did we get of those films? Because every view can change someone's mind or open their heart. And that's what we're endeavouring to do. It's it's an absolutely fantastic undertaking, and uh, and and good luck with the celebrations uh, when they come tomorrow. I'm sure there will be some uh, a, a few a, a few tears for lots and lots of different reasons. I would imagine. So just coming up to a music break in a second, and uh, I've noticed that w- the Will Travers, uh, who's from the Born Free uh, Foundation, uh, he's one of the uh, people that's uh, that's involved in the in the in the in the charities film uh, awards night, and uh, and of course they won last year, didn't they? They did with a with a film called The Bitter Bond, and they're shortlisted this year. And here, Paul, is an ex- beautiful example of a virtuous circle. I was speaking to Will earlier this week. It is almost to the day, in March 1966, that the film, Born Free, was premiered at Odeon Leicester Square in oh. London. I think that, you know, we talk about football, but that's what It's Coming Home means all about. That's, that's, that's bang on, isn't it? Yeah, here you have a film which pervades the popular consciousness about uh, Will's mum and dad mm. and a lion called Elsa with a song that goes mm. with it that is absolutely, in 1966, so there you go, here's your football <laughs> moment, in 1966, and this film still resonates and has spawned a charity mm-hmm. and is, for me, one of those earliest examples of cause-based filmmaking. No one's asking you to donate. What are people asking you to care about wildlife, care about the natural world and understand that we are at one with it? And that's a brilliant story. It's creativity and social action coming together in, in all the ways that we'd want them to. Absolutely. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you this evening, Simon. Uh, thank you very much. We're going to play Born Free now. Uh, one of your favourites? I'm more of a Sinatra man, but, I, but, <laughs> but in this context, I love the song. <laughs> De- most definitely. Thank you very much. Simon Burton, we'll speak to you again soon. Good luck with the awards tomorrow night.